Right, so the 2, I see is 2 times 1. Now, because we're working with ln, ln is log of e, log to base e log e. So I'm going to do it as log e, ln of e. So ln is log to base e of e. So I've got a minus of 2 log 5. Take the 2 up, I've got a log of 5 squared. I'll take that up as well. So I've got log of e squared minus log of 25. The minus on the combining means divide. So I've got log of e squared over 25. Okay. That's messy, isn't it? <sighs> this one for you. I've got 2 log 3 minus 5 times 1, ln, ln of e, take the powers up, I've got ln of 3 squared, which is 9, so be careful because I've got a lot of 2 cubed, and then log of e to the 5, combine them as a single one, the minus means divide, I've got 9 over e to the 5. Which could be written as 9e to the minus 5. Right. So it could also be written as log of 9e to the minus 5. Okay. okay. There's a lot of examples here. We'll, we'll, if you can get through these and have an idea, in class we'll do shed loads of them. So don't worry, the nine, when we get going on, it'll be nice. Right, so let's have a look at that. <laughs> it's suddenly just gone so hard. Uh, right, let's have a look. Let's take that half up there. So I've got log to base A of x cubed minus log to base A of x to the power 10 to the power half. So I've got log to base A of x cubed minus log to base A of x to the 5. The minus means that when I combine them, I divide. So I've got log to base A of 1 over x squared, which I could write if I wanted to as x to the power minus 2. The phone's buzzing like crazy behind me. Right, so there's one for you to do. So if you take the two up as a power, take the half up as a power. I've got log to base a of x cubed squared. So that'll be log to base a of x to the power six. I've got minus log to base a of 8, x to the 8, sorry, isn't it? Log to base a, x to the 8 to the power of half. You get a bit can read that. It's going to be x to the power of 4. And then because I'm minusing and dividing, do you know, we might actually just do some easier ones in class. These are like rocket science level ones. X squared. Let's see. I'm getting a. It's a Monday. You know, um, what is that in Monday? It's Tuesday. So we're on staff training. So I've got like, a bit of time, so I'm just doing some recording. But my son's at home. So um, I've sent a random message saying that I think they're off to McDonald's or something like that. So nice. Uh, oh, they put the two back at the front. I just left it up there as X squared. That's fine. Um, have we got time to do this? <laughs> do these other ones and there's that question for you. Right, oh my god. <laughs> so take the three up, take the half up, and see that as two times one, which would be log to base ten of ten. Right, let's have a look then. So I've got log. Now, log to base 10, I don't need to write log to base 10. So, log to base 10, I'm happy I can just write log. So, I've got log of 
a cubed plus log of b to the half minus 2 times by log of 10 there. And I took 2 up there as a squared, so I've got log of a cubed log of b to the half minus log of 100. Anything with a plus, I multiply together. So I've got a cubed times b to the half. Anything with a minus goes on the bottom line. So that'd be 100. And that's combining them all as a single log. Core blinded. So there's one for you to do. Where you take the two up, so you've got log of x squared. You've got log of y to the third, and then you've got the minus 5 is 5 times 1, so it's really minus 5 is log of 10, so it'll be like a 10 to the power 5 thing going on. There, can you see that? So log of x squared, log of y to the third. If I see the 1 as being log to base 10 of 10, then you've got that. Anything with a plus, I multiply on the top, so that's where the top lines come from. Anything with a minus, it goes on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the most difficult is this. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So it's a show about a question. This last little bit is <laughs> something I'm just going to give up, I think. <laughs> These are just ridiculously rock hard. But they're nice, and it's nice for you, but they're not easy. Right, show sure that. So if I work from the left hand side, that's log to base a of 1 over x. Now that's the same as x to the power minus 1. And if you remember, with the powers, I can put it at the front. which is minus log of a to the x, which is what I wanted there. So my right hand side is minus log a of x. My left hand side and my right hand side are the same, so I'm doing this as like a proper form of proof. Therefore, log to base a of 1 over x. Is that... Ta-da! Right, we'll stop there. <laughs> I'm going to do another video! How nice is that? Ugh, bye.